Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your Android phone, especially this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or the S20 series uh, to your Windows computer. This is Windows 10 and how you can uh, transfer files and data wirelessly, uh, such as photos. So you can see I'm not really using any cable at the moment. Now first go to your computer and we're going to launch this app called Your Phone. So you can click on the Windows icon at the bottom right here and then in the search box type in your phone at the top here it will show us on the pop-up so we want to start the app and then on here you need to um, sign into your windows at one point so if um, if it asks you to sign in then sign in I'm going to click on iPhone um, sorry not iPhone but Android so you have the option to choose iPhone or Android I'm going to choose Android and click on continue. It will pops up uh, with a uh, QR code that we can use the phone to scan. So on the phone here, I will scan. You can see it's already tried to sign into my account from the computer. So I'm just going to sign into the phone. Now swipe down at the top and tap and hold to the button called link to window. So tap and hold to the button link to windows. And then tap on link your phone and PC and then tap on continued and then tap on continued allow allow allowed allowed and then it will try to um, sign in and there you go so then tap on link your PC you don't have to scan the QR code if the um, if you haven't done this before you may need to scan it uh, if your phone is, is already having the app if the phone is already having the app you don't need to scan it the QR is basically just asking you to scan so that you can download the app um, with the latest model like the Galaxy S20 Ultra the app is already installed by default so I don't have to scan the QR code so here I'm going to tap on create a new code and then I need to uh, quickly click on the computer if, we don't, if we're not fast enough then uh, we have to do it again so now it's confirming the code and then I'm just going to tap on allowed to uh, help improve the service and then that's it so now it is um, connected uh, the phone and the computer now give it some moment for it to sync uh, the data through so you can click on photos uh, photos will be shown here it will need to take some time to sync the, the photos to the cloud so that the phone can show uh, the photos on the computer and you can also click on the phone screen and then click on get started so here is my device android device so say so connecting to your phone so say so we need permission to display your phone screen shortly this one will pops up and tap on the stop now button and now you can see um, the phones will the screen will mirror onto the computer so if you like to work on a larger screen such such as a computer you can choose uh, phone screen other things that you can do is calls you can uh, make and receive calls from PC uh, you can uh, look at photos so now the photos are syncing true and you can see if I click on that you can see the photos appearing uh, the reason it is blur at the moment is because um, the data hasn't been synced true so we just need to give it a moment for the data to sync true so that just close um, prematurely so I'm just going to, go on to open it again and I'm just going to um, unlock my phone here and then just give it a moment because it's still trying to sync and set up a lot of the things on the background so um, I'm just going to give it a few minutes okay so here are the, the data or the, the photos coming through so now you can see it is a lot larger now once it is uh, open you can uh, basically click on next to go to the next photos uh, you can also drag and drop it onto your computer and then there it is this is now on the computer and if I click on it you can see the photo is now uh, showing on my computer and that's the photo right there you, so you can drag and drop to uh, save the photos onto the computer uh, you can also view uh, messages if you if there are messages here uh, you can see it you also can uh, look at 
notifications. If you click on the settings, there are other settings that you can try to enable or disable. And that's it, so that's how you can link the two devices so that you can transfer photos uh, over to your computer. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.